Aliens is one of those rare instances where a sequel takes what was done in the first film, expands upon it, and is in many ways superior while standing on its own story. Of all the films in the series, it's my absolute favorite for its story, design, and of course, its amazing music by James Horner. The music for the first film was done by Jerry Goldsmith, who created a haunting and isolated feel with spikes of absolute fear. The sequel was more action-based, so the music had to reflect that. Horner was brought in despite being committed to another film, The Name of the Rose, and only had a small window to work. James Horner had known James Cameron for a number of years. They had both gotten their start working with low-budget icon Roger Corman. This would be the first time they would work together. Horner assumed that he would have six weeks to put the music together, along with a rough cut of the film. When he arrived at Abbey Road Studios, he found out he only had three weeks and no film to work with, as it was still being shot and edited. When he asked producers for more time, he was denied. He pressed on and began working with what little he had. He wrote as much new material as he could, including a sting to be used as a sort of theme for the xenomorphs. Thanks to his low-budget roots, he took bits and pieces from previous scores and used them here. Some of the music was lifted straight from Star Trek II and III. He also used a tape delay effect to create echoes on the score. This music is a wonderful representation of the film and stands on its own as a musical piece. For me personally, I love whenever Horner uses the clanging metal to raise the tension in any given moment. When he presented the music to James Cameron, the director didn't like it and asked him to make numerous changes. While working on The Terminator, Cameron was able to work with the composer Brad Fidel to quickly make changes as most of it was composed via a synthesizer and not a full orchestra. With no time, cannibalized music, and the director wanting to rewrite the whole score, Horner would reflect on it all, calling it a nightmare. Cameron was only able to get a little bit of new music from Horner, who had to move on to his next project. Both of them hoped they would never have to work with each other ever again. Cameron took what Horner had made and began to cut, rearrange, and splice it to fit the film that he made. In retrospect, Cameron said that he did like the music, it just didn't fit his vision of the film. Additionally, Cameron used some of Goldsmith's Alien score and even brought in other musicians to fill in the blanks. The sting would be used for the first chestburster scene, and Cameron grew to like it and used it in multiple times in the finished film. Some of what Horner produced wouldn't make it to the final cut of the film, but would later find its way into the music for the film, Die Hard. Additionally, one piece from the soundtrack, Bishop's Countdown, would become widely used in movie trailers. Despite all the chaos surrounding it, the score was nominated for an Academy Award. The music was one of the key elements that made the film so exciting, and sadly for a long time, it seemed like a collaboration that created it between Horner and Cameron would be a once-in-a-lifetime thing. That was until 1997's Titanic. Cameron and Horner were able to put their differences aside to work on the film, which earned Horner an Oscar. They worked together again for Avatar, which was also nominated for an Oscar. Tragically, Horner was killed in a plane crash in 2015. Cameron would say, we lost not only a great teammate and collaborator, but a good friend. The score for Aliens is just a small portion of the huge landscape that James Horner painted with his music. It's beautiful, exciting, and most importantly, terrifying. When people talk about the Alien franchise, they often overlook the music, which is really unfair. In space, no one can hear you scream, but you can hear some amazing music. The content on this channel is made possible from viewers like you. Help the channel grow by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.